Hey guys, it's Villa Boy back here to another video. So today for you guys, I got my match preview against Sheffield United. So let's get into the video. So then tomorrow we're gonna be at Sheffield United at Bramall Lane. So what do you expect for them for tomorrow game? I do expect this not gonna be an easy game because Sheffield United on seven, we are fourth. They they're not unbeaten. We are unbeaten one. Can we can we complain when that? Can we can we still continue? Let's see about that. Also, Chef you know that just um, Connor Washington for QPR and Marvin Johnson as well. What do you expect for them as well? I don't think they're not gonna be in the game. Who knows the might the might feature for tomorrow's game, obviously. For us, this could be not easy because they have Bailey Sharp, Joe Clark, Leo Clark. And John, Mark Duffy, John Fleck, these people like that can cause a problem as well. They, they can cause problem or defensively. If you don't take Vivi as well, we are quite struggling with defensively. As well, we're still unbeaten. Don't get me wrong. Um, what do you, so then, what do you expect for Aston Villa for tomorrow? What do you expect for us? So, I know this is not going to be an easy game. I did not see Steve Bruce press conference. But with this, with this on Tommy Abraham today, I'm so happy we just signed him. What a sign for a no striker. We need a no striker to be honest as, as well. Tommy Abraham is a perfect, perfect striker for us to be honest. Like that as well. But, but we should get defender. We just saw Tommy F got long to hold now. He just went to hold and yeah, stuff like that. So what in my starter lineups? In goal, I'll go with Audrey Lyon will be in goal for me. Defender, I'll go with Hudson White back, Taylor left back for me. Both and both, I bet I have quite a card event as well, but at the same time, we, we don't make sloppy mistake as well. That, that's gonna say it. And centre back, I'll go with Chester and Tronzebi, both of them centre back. I, I think I'll have cards and both of them will have very, very hard afternoon for tomorrow's game. Sure, you know this could be a not easy test. As midfielder, midfielder, one minute I'll go with Aldo Egozi, left wing, no left me Jack Wheelish. Both of them the other midfielder. I can't even see them. They will cause a problems. They will cross the ball wing as well. I like Jack Wheelish, Egozi, both of them together. They'll be very, very good as well. Midfielder, I'll go with McGinn, John McGinn, and Whelan. Both of them, in my opinion, I'll go with mid as well. Also mid, because I can't wait. McGinn was so brilliant last time. We don't know if McGinn will be back or not, because he's still injured, of course. Hopefully, McGinn will be back for us for tomorrow. And Whelan as well. We can't need Whelan because he, he's experienced. We need him to pass the ball as well, and stuff like that. I find it, tell me everything. I can't really, can't you? Both of them are front. If they have, if you have creating chances, I can't see why not we can win the game for tomorrow. Koja and, and Abraham could cause a problem against Sheffield United defenders and yeah, stuff like that. So then, what is my score prediction? I tell you what, we're not quite doing very, very well, but yes, we are unbeaten. But, you know what, I'll take a point of that game, you know, not gonna lie. I'll take a point of the win. I'm gonna say, ooh. I tell you what, two and Aston Villa, two and Aston Villa. I'll take it. I'll take it two and Aston Villa. I'm gonna fancy a to score, a Gazi and McGinn both of them to score for tomorrow game against Sheffield United as well. What well, then, guys? That's gonna be the end of the video. Make sure you give the like. So go to my YouTube channel, my name is Villa Boy, and see you the next time of the Villa.